。由 Chris Pratt 同 Bryce Howard 主演嘅《侏罗纪世界》三部曲最终将早前上映。今次仲有系列嘅原作演员 Laura Dern、Sam Neill、Jeff Goldblum 等回归演出，新旧两代阵容合体，令人相当期待。呢日我哋嘅主播王振全邀请到导演 Colin t r e v a r o 以及包括男女主角在内嘅几位演员做岳阳访问时 ，Crystal 话听到几位前辈会参演就难掩激动心情啊。Oh, I was so excited to hear from Colin the story and how he was going to seamlessly bring these characters in. It's really there. I mean, it's it's all of our movie in an amazing way. We have converging storylines, and like unlike Jurassic Park, this is not lo- separate or located on just one area. It's the whole world. So you've got various storylines happening all around the globe that end up converging. And so、uh, I was just thrilled. I couldn't believe that I was going to share the screen with them, and、uh, it was just kind of a dream come true. And Rice, what about your action sequences?、Uh, we saw you jumping from roof to roof. How was it? Oh my goodness. Um, well, I mean, yes, there are, there's a lot of action in this film, particularly for Claire, and it was an absolute blast. And I, I must say, while it was very intensive, it would have been way more intense if I didn't have an incredible stunt double named Sarah Lachlan. And so,、uh, so Sarah went to Malta and was shooting so much of that. And、uh, and then when I saw it, I was like, "How are you still alive, woman?" <laughs> It was incredible, incredible to watch. And one question, Bryce:、uh, What do you think about Chris on the mic- motorcycle in the movie? Oh my God, I think it's. I mean, first of all, motorcycles are very dangerous, and I just want everyone to be reminded of that. <laughs> and if you are driving a motorcycle, you're you're putting your life at risk.、Uh, but that being said, Chris Pratt looks really sexy on a motorcycle, especially <laughs>、really? when he's he's either being accompanied or chased by. Dinosaurs.、Um, it's pretty incredible. It、yes. wasn't an easy job during the pandemic, right? Shooting the movie was complicated during the pandemic because there was extended periods of absence. Normally, you can fly home for a quick week or, or and fly back, but obviously, because of the way that the world was and the protocols that were put in place for our film, I wasn't able to do that. So I'd spend extended, I'd take extended periods of time away from home, which for me was was. By far the hardest part,、yeah. but the trade-off was we all got to be in a bubble.、Uh, all of the cast and crew, or, or all、uh. of the cast at least,、uh, are staying at a hotel, and so we all got to spend so much time together and, and had the opportunity to really bond. And, and、uh, you know, it was really nice to have sort of your surrogate family、uh, at the hotel in London or in、mm. outside of London. 电影中唔单止有身份种恐龙出现，而且故事场景横跨全球，恐龙群会走出自然景区，散落喺各个城市中。唔知导演 Colin 喺拍摄呢啲场口时，会唔会好有难度咧 ？Very challenging, but it was very exciting, and it, it just opened up all kinds of opportunities for us to、uh, see these creatures that we had really only seen in one kind of environment for five movies. Uh, uh-huh. Now and and really just unleash them、uh, into into the world as we know it. And you were a teenager when you first watched Jurassic Park. How was it like working with the original legacy cast this time? It must be very emotional. It was, you know, and and yet by the time we actually got on set, we had been living together for a long time, and so we knew each other really well, and we've been talking about our characters and 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 these roles and our story. And、uh, I think by the time it actually was, you know, the day of, it was. It wasn't me and and these icons I I you know only seen from afar since I was a little kid. It was me and people who who I knew who were friends, and we really could could get into it and do the work. During the filming, the whole crew moved to a hotel, and actually, does it bring something good to the entire filming? It does. That's a great observation. It absolutely does. And、uh, you know, because we were living together, we would see each other you know on weekends, and we would spend time. Working on the characters, on the dialogue, everything to make it the best movie we possibly could make it. So if you if you enjoy the movie,、uh, it's not me you have to thank. It's all of the actors together、uh, and all of the people who worked on it because we we really did collaborate in a kind of unprecedented way for a film because of that situation. So how was your frisky time in the hotel? Was it the only moment that you you didn't have to think about anything about about the movie? That's exactly why my frisbee time existed.、Uh, <laughs> technically, it was an aerobee, which is a, which is a California-based kind of ring that you throw.、Uh, and I, I, there was something about those two hours every week that everybody knew.、Uh, you know, 
I just get to throw this disc back and forth. Uh, it was it was very peaceful. And have you let Steven Spielberg watch the entire movie yet? Yes, I've let him watch it. <laughs> he's he can watch it whenever he wants. But yeah, he's uh, he's actually seen it several times, like during our process, and uh, uh, he's he's very satisfied with with where we've uh, where we've left. All these characters, I know he cares about them very much. Jeff Goldblum, 时隔二十九年，再次同老拍档 Laura 同 Sam 喺呢个系列再聚首，佢都好开心啊。Well, it's amazing for me to 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 be on the set with、uh, Laura Dern and Sam Neill. They're so great. I'm so proud to be associated with them at all, and to work with them is an amazing experience. They're just two of our best actors, and they're, they're the most amazing people. It was great, and it was like. She, we did this, and we hadn't been reunited on screen since then, so we had to remember. But so much of it came back like a dream, and it was almost 30 years ago, and we had so much to、uh, adore each other about and to reminisce about. And do you still remember the moments you, Sam, and Laura saw each other again in the hotel? Yes. Here's what happened. Now that you mention it.、Um, I pulled up in my car, and I brought my kids with it with me. I've got a two boys, five-year-old,、oh. a seven-year-old, almost now,、uh-huh. and Emily. And、uh, the three of us got out of the car, and Sam and Laura were already there. And there was a little sort of、uh, balcony, outside balcony, <laughs> that they、uh. stationed themselves on. And as soon as I got out of the car, they were there to greet, to greet us. It was the sweetest、uh, thing. I was already choked up by it. Okay, so have your children watched all your movies, especially Jurassic Park? They haven't seen all my movies. Certainly not. There are a bunch of them that are a little too adult for them, because, like I say, they're five and almost seven. But I did show them in the last year or so,、uh, Jurassic Park and Jurassic Lost World,、um, the first and second movies,、uh, and they were kind of scared and amazed, but they they loved them. They have never, believe it or not, been to a movie theater. They have not、yeah. seen any movies. We're trying to keep them away from screens mostly,、uh, and they've never been to a movie theater. But we have plans to take them for the first time to a movie theater on June 10th, when they can see Lost World Dominion stand in the back of a hopefully crowded <laughs> movie theater, and I think it'll be exciting. The Wonder Vice 同妈妈 Do Atre 作为系列新丁，当然相当兴奋，而且 The Wonder Vice 仲好难忘佢首次见到博士三人组嗰刻啊！ Uh, well, I remember the day Laura moved into the hotel. I feel like she bought, she brought some like、um, surfboards that she never used because we could not leave the hotel. I remember、oh. Jeff brought his piano <laughs> <laughs> to the hotel, and Sam. If I could give everyone an item, this is what they brought. Laura brought surfboards. Jeff brought his piano. And Sam has a really、oh. fantastic、uh, line of wines. He had, like literally owns a vineyard called Two Paddocks. So he brought so much wine. <laughs> you know, it was a very good time. It was,、uh, <laughs> it was really such a blessing to、um, meet all of them. You know, both as human beings and performers at the same time. Did Jeff show you his jazz dance? Yeah, Jeff. Jeff is jazz dancing throughout this entire movie. You're welcome, world. <laughs> And most of them brought their family to the hotel too, right? Must be yes, so much、yeah. fun.、Mm-hmm. My husband was there. Jeff was there with his family.、Um, yeah, I mean, it was really, you know, an honor to to get to know them. And also, you know, an experience that's super atypical for a movie of this size is there were actors that you know、um, I didn't have scenes with. But we、uh-huh. still got to hang out and get to know each other, you know. And I even think that the spirit of that, you know, and the the kind of cheering each other on, like one actor would come back, you know, Scott Hayes would come back from working that day, and Colin would be showing the fight sequence that he just did with Chris Pratt, you know.、Uh-huh. So there was a, a level of、um, just all hands on deck and, and a level of ownership that the actors had of this film that is. Completely, most likely unprecedented, but also、uh, just a very special experience to have. And Mama Do also shared the honor of being chosen for the Jasmine series of films. And I hope that Colin watched one of your movie and decided、mm-hmm. to get you into the cast. Tell us more about when you pick up the, the call. Yeah,、um, he. I, it's, yeah, it was kind of out of nowhere to be honest. I was like, "What? You saw what? You saw what? Okay, cool. I'm happy to be a part of it."
Um, yeah, I think he saw this movie I did called The Front Runner and um, just thought it'd be really right for this movie. And we had this great conversation over um, over lunch. And we just also found out that we just really vibed and really liked each other. So it was super great. And, um, and that experience, that lunch has held up over the test of time. And he really is a great guy and a, a great leader.